Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use and some of the features of Freshdesk. Now Freshdesk is a product of the Freshworks kind of like software family. Um, it's, it's essentially a ticketing software. Uh, ticketing can be used for anything and anything from IT help desk all the way to customer support and whatnot. Like they say, it lets, you provide, it lets you provide intuitive and contextual support, which I think is important. It's actually a really powerful tool, highly customizable, and it's very cheap as well. Now, I've already created an account, so I'm going to skip that whole, that whole phase and whatnot of, in this tutorial, as it will waste some time. However, if you haven't created an account already, please create an account using the link in the description. It helps support the channel and it's the best way to do it in my opinion so like i said if you're going to use fresh desk after this tutorial or while i'm doing this tutorial or even before this tutorial please use the link in the description so let's get straight to it now once you've created an account and you start your free trial um you can essentially get started so <laughs> the first step unfortunately i can't show you um just because it just skipped it before I was able to show you. However, the first step is very simple. It just lets you pick your domain. Now you can see my domain's already been picked. So it's actually a subdomain of the freshdesk.com main domain. So I picked mine as YT tutorial, YouTube tutorial, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, once you've picked your subdomain of the freshdesk.com domain, um, you can you can invite your team. Now these are gonna be people who are maybe customer support agents or IT support agents, whatever it is you can invite them and they'll be able to view and address tickets. However, I'll do this later. Now, so it's quite important is if this is a support email service that you want to use, you know, for people to submit tickets or, you know, whether it's customer support or help desk or IT support, um, you're going to probably want the process to be st streamlined with how everything works already. And, wh and what I mean by that is the main way that most people use fresh desks fresh desk is essentially you will set up an inbox so say i'm uh, you know i'm a, an organization using microsoft essentially what they'll do is they'll set up an inbox a microsoft inbox let's say it support at youtube tutorial.com and then what you do is you're going to forward all of those you're going to set up forwarding on that mailbox so that all I, all emails that go to itsupportsmsj.com get forwarded to support at yttutorial.freshdesk.com, if that makes sense. And the reason they need to be forwarded from Microsoft to this is because um, they can essentially they essentially will then end up as tickets in the system now you can actually do an even more you can do a deeper integration if you have you know if you using this have access to you know the it team or the actual domain of your organization um if you have access to that you can add some you can edit the dns records and then freshdesk can actually send using your domain um so yeah but if you can't do that, that's completely fine. We'll just use this email for now. So yeah, so first things first, this is our support website that's already been created and this is our support email address. Like I said, you can forward normal email addresses to this. And so yeah, let's start using Freshdesk. Now, let's pick our industry. Let's say we are software and internet. Um, and let's say, huh, I don't think we need any of these plans actually. So there's a lot you can do with fresh desk. Now I'm just going to really go through the most basic use that most people do. And it's, it's tickets essentially. Now, pretty much it's really simple. People might receive. If you're doing customer service or you're just trying to do some um, CRM, you know, customer uh, relationship management type shit, um, essentially, all you have to do is um, is go to tickets over here. So if it, if a ticket is emailed onto you, um, all you have to do is click on a ticket over here. Oh, this is a deleted ticket. We can restore it. So let's go over some examples here. Now, um, uh, 
but yeah, let's have a look. I don't know why this isn't uh, why this is all uh, free trials. Yeah. Anyway, cool. So essentially, it's really simple. <coughs> Any tickets that get sent to you went up in the ticket section over here. Now, if you want to respond to one of these tickets, you can just click on it, and between you and your team, you can add notes. This person doesn't know what they are talking about. You can add that note. This will be private between you and the people viewing it. Or you can actually reply directly to mary.jane at freshdesk.com. Hi, Mary Jane. Thank you for the email. We don't have a solution. Um, uh, yeah, so it's it's really that simple and you can send and Freshdesk will automatically send it directly to the person. Um, you can even enable, as it says in the corner, quick undo if needed. Um, now, there's more that you can do with tickets. So you can, you can create tags and you can give it a type if it's an incident or whatever or a feature request. Obviously, this really does just depend on what you're doing. Now, these are quite important. You have the statuses. Open is usually if no one's responded to it. Pending, I tend to use if someone is if you're waiting for a response from someone. And resolved is, you know, resolved is resolved. Or waiting on customer is, is, is a good one to use as well, actually. Uh, over what I use pending for, really. Um, so, the thing you need to keep in mind, though, if you set them to resolved or close it's gonna it's gonna email the user that their ticket has the status has changed and it's been resolved what I've done is what I usually do is I go into settings and I go into the notifications and and I delete the fact that users are notified when their tickets are closed so I'm just gonna close this ticket and uh, I'm gonna click update and once it's closed I'll go back here and we can see Mary Jane's ticket is now closed um, now what we can do as well, we can, there's, look, I mean, there's infinite ways to, to sort all of these tickets. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, you know, we can have a look now. Once, obviously, once people start using the fresh desk, we can see that they start to become contacts within fresh desk, which is quite interesting. Um, one of my favorite things too, actually, I quite like is the solutions page. Now, if you're doing tech support, if you're doing something else, this is quite useful because you, you'll anyone who works in any kind of support role knows that you're going to start coming across the same issues quite often. So if you have a bank of solutions or a bank of things that you're going to tell people, um, you know, a bank of the same questions and, and answers that you're going to hear from people, um, just put them in a knowledge base and then you know, you can just send these articles to the users directly uh, or not. It's entirely up to you, really. Um, you can even go on a forum section where users can talk about certain topics and whatnot. Um, now, it's true. It's all customizable. So in the organization where I use this, we don't actually use the forums, um, the forum side of it. But... You know, I can definitely see how it can apply to some organizations. Now, this is a dashboard screen. This is quite cool. This is this is a demo dashboard, but this is um, what it usually looks like. So you can have it shows you how many unresolved tickets there are due to day open. Now, all of these are customizable. You don't have to have these fields, and also you can this you know you can choose whether a ticket can be due today or not. It's entirely up to you. Click dismiss, and this is probably going to show me my real data. Yeah, here we go. And so this is the real data. Um, and um, and yeah, you know, we can go into the admin settings and all this stuff, and you can create various channels and means of productivity. You can even switch between fresh desk tools, which I think is quite um, intriguing. And yeah, I mean, that's really it for fresh desk. This is quite a basic tutorial. Maybe I'll make another one where I go a bit more in depth, but it's quite a simple tool. Any staff member that you have using it will pick it up really quickly. Um, as you know, most of the time they'll just be answering and opening and closing and resolving tickets. And that's about it really. 
So thank you for watching this video. Like I said, if you're going to download Fresh Desk, if you're going to give it a go, you don't have to download it. Um, if you're going to give it a go, make sure you sign up using the link in the description as it helps support the channel. And other than that, thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.